Our former masters, French, the audacity of them to come to our land, invade us, and tear down everything we build to replace it with their system. For them, when they got tired, you know, to turn around and say, okay, you now become independent. But because I taught you how to use a fork, a knife, and I taught you to, to, to wear my stupid dressing, I have to charge you for life. Whatever they brought and enforced on us, they told us it's called colonial debt. So for that, we will retain right of 75% to 80% of your natural resources. So that's why if you wonder why Africa is on fire now, it's because they're trying to undo all these stupid post-colonial agreements. So this is what we're still in. That battle is still on. Although all the evil they did, and now they're trying to erase it from history book in the name of race theory, because they worry about how the children are going to be viewed. But they're continuing evil. As we're speaking right now, Africa is on fire. We're fighting over there. Mali has broken free. Burkina Faso is next. And the fire of freedom is catching our people. And there's nothing they can do. Absolutely nothing. So as we know, America is there. But I hope that what America would do is to lay low this time. I really hope for them because... You know, whether you like it or not, we have ties with America. They stole millions of our children and millions of us are here. So we became that dysfunctional family. Nevertheless, family, millions of our kids answer their stupid last name. Okay. To me, it's called family. So you did all the dirt you wanted to do. I think it's time you lay low because it won't work. This awakening of our people, it set to happen and no one can stop it. So, you know, I really would like the white women to take their place next to their men. They like that life of effortless luxury has cost all of them, all of us, and they're paying, you know, and this is where we are, the world they have created. And many of them don't like it anymore. Too bad, we in it. I mean, this is what we see on TV. We see them in their meetings, how they trample on people, stuff. So imagine the women who, who live with them. They're going through too. So my question to them is, do you like it? No matter the killing, no matter the raping, no matter the stealing, you guys are broke and are going now to invade Africa again. What do you say about that? Huh? It never worked and it will never work. So if you don't stand for justice, you don't stand for purity, you don't stand for love, there's no wealth you can amass that you'll be able to keep forever, that you will be able to, you know, to enjoy fully. That's not the way. We as women, we have to go back to that which God sent us on earth for. Yeah, I can come up with